good. So what 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 we want right now is uh, how MTF works. Okay. So for the first thing we have to think about, we must have rejection. Let us say the storyline number one storyline. If we got a storyline okay which time frame will we use for a roadblock okay roadblock and which time frame will we use for setup setup and which time frame should we use for take profit take profit so this is the most important thing when you're using multi time frames for example if uh, monthly if a monthly storyline begins if monthly storyline begins then uh the time frame that i would want a uh, road blocking is weekly okay weekly this is okay for my setup i will look uh for setups at h4 h4 and take profit be daily uh, no, 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 it must be the roadblock time frame, okay? The roadblock time frame, that would be the weekly, okay? So always the roadblock timing and uh, uh, take profit timing will be the same, okay? Sure. Okay, for example, let me say weekly STL, weekly storyline. Weekly storyline. And then when we get a weekly storyline, which time frame are we looking for block road blocking okay uh daily. look for yeah daily d1 d1 and after we get a daily road block where is our setup we have to bear in mind daily road block will give you one hour setup all right so h1 is the time frame that you will look for your setup so where is your take profit where is your target so it will be the daily since it daily is the road blocking okay you have to always bear in mind this and on the other hand uh, what about if we get a daily reject or daily storyline we will have road blocking of h4 we know this this is very popular since we always use the intraday setups of H4. And uh, the, the setup will be H1. Same, I think, I think I made a mistake since this is one. So this will also be, this will also be uh, H4, H4 h4 and the weekly will also have a h4 setup yeah always bear in mind this is why it's good to record really <laughs> so for the daily we have road blocking of h4 setup will be h1 that's that's really uh, daily will have setup on h1 and take profit will be on h4 level since h4 is the road blocking of the day so what about if we have uh, h4 storyline or four hour storyline four hour storyline what will we do then for our road blocking road blocking is one hour one hour and setup will be m30 m30 take profit will be a one hour the same so uh what about if we get h4 okay h1 is storyline let me say like one hour storyline one hour storyline so road blocking will be m30 since the this will be uh one time frame lower so setup we know that one hour always gives setup at m15 and then take profit will be m30 
okay so the last day i think i can still continue m what about 30 minute storyline 30 minute storyline have road blocking of 15 minute time frame and uh, uh, five minute five minute setup and also 15 minute 15 minute take profit so for the last 15 minute storyline okay 15 minute storyline will have also five minute road blocking and also one minute uh, set up that's why most guys create one minute for scalping and then five minutes your setup for your tech profit i hope that this that this will help us better right you understand right now right yeah yeah i do yeah this is so clear so uh yeah I do. yeah i want to show you an example like uh, one of them and then you will make try on it all right so let us have uh, a storyline of one of these i always like daily or weekly okay the daily the daily the daily storyline where do, do we have do we have any storyline on a daily right here yes all right this is daily story and this is what is called a daily reject daily daily reject daily that's the start of storyline so uh, since this is daily so h4 will be my road blocking i go h4 and then road block means any uh, bull back for example price uh, reject here and then you can see it's breaking so h4 road blocks are here road block of h4 this uh, road block this uh, road block also another road block okay another road block so uh, the real direction of this market is this bullish momentum okay that are not the roadblock okay that is the real movement okay so so roadblock is a bullbacks so roadblocks are bullbacks i hope you will understand what i mean yeah so you know when you draw the red box that's roadblock yeah come again you, you draw the red box that's roadblock yeah yeah roadblock that's the roadblock yeah, but 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 let's say let's say you go on live where the daily reject daily, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We got a daily reject daily. This one. This is a miss. Yeah. This is a. So how? So where would the roadblock be on the left for you to? This for you to understand the. This. Uh, okay. Roadblock means price always bounces before it reaches its target. Okay. Price does not always go in a straight way we always want a roadblock for every storyline no and i understand that well what i'm saying is um if we had a daily if we, if we know the daily we get daily from there yeah all right and be, so we will pretend the market is live there yeah all right yeah all right so so, so how okay do, 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 do you understand what i'm saying i'm not getting you so direct question please Okay, you know where the red dot is? Daily reject daily. All right, I, I yeah, know, I know. So, so pretend the market is live there now, yeah. And we haven't seen the the chart on the right yet. We only see it on the left. So, how would you know the wall block from the left of where daily reject daily? So, where daily reject daily for our breakout, we can look for buy. So, we buy from that daily candle that reject the daily. We haven't seen the market on the right yet, because that's going to be the future. Ah, Does yeah. that make sense? So, or how? Uh, so you mean like how do we really recognize that this is a roadblock or not? Yeah, uh, from the left because that price haven't haven't come yet. Does uh, that make sense? 
No, no, let me tell you. We, we only have, we only have a daily storyline start. Yeah, that's it from there, stop from there, yeah. So how can, I think your question is, how can I realize that this is a Yeah, from there, that's okay. it. Okay. From, from looking at the left. Okay, I can make it clear, please. Wait, wait. <laughs> so this is a daily storyline. Okay, we know one thing that is Bryce always started from higher, higher movies from higher time frame level, like the daily level right now. It start a new bullish storyline from the daily time frame, right? So, so when we go, when we go to one time frame lower of the daily, all right when we go one time frame lower uh, of a daily time frame then we will see levels so when you go uh, one time frame lower of a daily it is h4 right so these levels will be h4 levels all right these are h4 levels you have a storyline for example bullish storyline starts here so when you switch lower time frame this is a daily level Price start to reject the daily level. It switch to H4. Make your H4 levels. So expect H4 levels to react as a zone of bones in the price before it reaches the next level of the day. For example, right here, we are H4, right? And we know we have we have daily reject. So where is H4 level? This is the H4 level expect the price to come as a road blocking if there is another one coming as a gap here you can see this candle it closes and then that's a gap snr wait the price to react to this level as a road blocking understand Be because price cannot reach this high before it bounces from one time frame lower snr levels it must rebounce from these levels before it reaches before it reaches understand brother are you getting it yeah yeah i understand i can see where the where the price we are now i can see yeah from that for example on the left have, from that uh, all the weekly storyline road blocking <coughs> means control the trend you have to control the trend and watch out what is happening one time frame lower of your storyline. If you get weekly storyline, come down uh, daily time frame and control daily levels to react to the price and flow it. So you can get multiple setups by flowing the roadblock of the trend. It is like you are flowing the trend. So price is always reacting one time frame lower of your storyline. What if your storyline is H4? Which level will you control the trend? H1. So I go H1 and then control the trend. That's what I mean. So now if I play, if I play, you can see that price is always reacting H4 levels. Okay, then it, until it reaches the next daily levels where price wants. Hope that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, all right. So, now you know what the road blocking is. What about monthly, daily, and weekly? Those three major time frames or high time frames are the ones that we always find our storyline. We know what the storyline is. Storyline equals direction, direction, or like order flow. If you hit the word order flow, it means storyline. If you hit, so, I mean, these three words are the same. Okay. Direction. Storyline. Storyline. And also, order. Order flow. Same. Okay. They are the same. So, from, from now on, you have to understand that if a trader is using order flow he means direction if he is using the storyline means direction same all right 
all direction this is the same so uh storyline this time frame is our directional bias the overall picture of the market where market is hidden to when you understand uh the your storyline when you get your storyline what you want is to control the storyline so by controlling the storyline go one time frame lower of the time frame that gave you the, okay are you talking yeah sure no 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 yeah so if you if you have a time frame storyline then go one time frame lower and control that storyline because price always reacts a resistance level that is lower than one time frame lower than the storyline time frame and that's really very clear right now so this the second thing is like my setup okay my setup for example right now we have uh we have a storyline of the daily right daily storyline right here daily reject daily so uh, we know the road blocking is h4 levels we have to go to one hour in order to get our setups all right so when we are entering the market so we always targeting h4 levels all right setup is giving you how to enter the market it's telling you in enter the market so let me remove these examples let me remove these examples and then switch to uh, one hour so right now my aim is to find setups and then replay 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 again somewhere here so finding setup means getting entry all right getting entry so we know levels of h4 is always important let us play we want to break out all right so we got a rejection here we want to break out after breakout is the setup so we also have to make out our uh, road blocking when we get a road blocking the next thing is uh, our setup so let me continue so we got a daily reject daily now so we have to get a breakout breakout means a candle body closure so price is closing bodily this level and then this is uh, exactly where our setup starts so you can use the candle body or you can use this week for a uh, breakout confirmation so if you use this you must have a candle body closure but i always use the uh, body closure as a breakout according to how i have learned so now we have a rejection daily reject daily plus breakout that's storyline confirmed so the next thing is one hour i must wait price to come back at the uh, h4 level because if i switch to h4 i can still see that there is h4 level after price broke here one time frame lower of the daily which will be h4 it form it snr which is a gap so when i come when i come uh, the uh one hour so i will get my price come at the snr of h4 and then whenever it touches here so the confluences will be so good so we use different confluences as you know guys as you know it guys but the most important setup of one hour is when you get uh snr blast train line blast engulfing when these three uh, things meet together we have a strong setup for example uh right here one hour we have this engulfing candle okay we have in this engulfing candle this will be eg buy all right this zone is where we want the price to enter but we will not exactly enter it only with the engulfing we still want confluences confluences can be like we have to use train line we have to also try to map out if there is multiple snrs here like conjunction zones we have lent it before so another snr okay 
okay another SNR gap SNR on a daily so what we have here is Bryce did not touch the zone if you check it Bryce did not touch it the zone it started pushing up all right it started pushing up so right here this will become a liquidity okay this will become since we have equal lows as you guys see so this become equal so now we have uh, uh, entry pattern which is very very pop very good so uh, i want to show you i want to show you for example this is what we have all right so bryce did not touch this in our and then we are expecting Bryce even to go a little bit and then come back this area and then enter. Okay, so Bryce cannot come in our in, uh, in our entry again. So this is the setup of H1. Okay, H1. So stop loss below the engulfing and then target anywhere of your H4 level because when you get uh, daily storyline. When you get daily storyline, H4 is the road blocking. Take profit is also the H4 level. So you can you can target H4 level, go and switch, and then where is your level? This is the level of H4. Okay. This is the level of H4. You guys see here. I think it's also lower than this because that's the week of the candle. This is the level of H4 for entry day because this is story, this storyline is for H4. Uh, yeah, if you are targeting somewhere like that, I might advise you use uh, 20 pips maximum. Okay, if you can use less, then it's okay. Like 15 will be okay. So just like here, it's okay. Stop loss. 15. Since this is entry day, and then. We play and then we can see this pattern is the setup of H4, of H1. H1 is showing you something like this. H1 is showing you something like this, okay? Let us say this is the SNR where Bryce did not mitigate. Okay, we got a miss, right? But there is the breakout, guys. Always think, think about it. There is a breakout. So this breakout is RBS. 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 So we got a level rejection here. Okay, by a week, which is a daily reject today. Daily reject today. So we got equal lows here, which was uh, liquidity all right liquidity and trend line okay trend line just uh, yeah just like this trend line so uh, we got SNR levels which will be conjunction zones so that's a one hour setup anyway and target and target was this level of h4 I hope that you get the point of H, H1 setup. So if we go back to H1, H1 and look how Bryce really respected, you can see H1 setup, Bryce returns back and touch it or enter it, then boom, it goes up. As it plays, it plays, it's not coming back until it hits or TV. That's the H1 setup. I hope that you got the point, my friend Bola. Yeah, you understand that. But what about your entry? If you get one hour set of how you enter? Yeah, if yeah, so the the setup refinement it depends on you, but you have to understand the setup. Setup is like patterns. We must have entry patterns. We may uh, I think I have seen lots of pictures in the VIP group, I don't know if you have seen the MSNR educational context. Lot of patterns of entries. I cannot count them, but the most beautiful ones I always use is when I get setups that are in line with, in, uh, with the liquidity. 
check the pictures that I have sent. Let me let me share. Let me share. Let me share the whole screen first, and then go. Lot of lot of entry buttons here. So entry models a lot, my brother. So you can use. So every time Bryce is giving you an entry button, which may either be one of these. Have you seen these pictures? Can you see my screen, Bola? Hello? Yeah, I can see. I've seen some of the pictures. Yeah, have you seen these? Yeah, pictures? I can see. Yeah, have you seen these pictures? Most of them, they can you hear me? entry buttons. Three types when you got the it. So this is this are what I was talking about. You 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 can see. It depends on which kind of SOB you want. Do you want to use a H4 storyline? Do you want to use a daily storyline? Do you want weekly storyline? It depends on you. Oh my phone. I hope it is not crashing. Something. Wow. Screen broken. It's okay. Is your phone okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, choose choose one of the storylines that are really good for you. If you like a daily storyline, your setups will be clear. If you want weekly storyline, your setups will be clear. But it is like the, 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 the trading style you want to choose for your lifetime, for your trading uh, uh, journey. So I always like the daily storyline and hedge for the storyline as I am an intraday trader. So when, when it comes uh, the daily storyline, when I get the daily storyline, it's clear. I may use one of the setups, low risk setup, medium risk setup, or high risk setup. So I know how to deal with high risk setup. If I get a high risk setup, it is like I see Bryce is rejecting at the level or a daily level today. Then I go one time frame lower or two time frame lower and then look for a, 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 a lower time frame uh, rejections or patterns like five minutes and so on. Because I cannot wait till tomorrow and watch the market to move away from a good SNR and then I'm entering it without not knowing even if Bryce will reject it or continue. But I always have some confluences that I always add in my, in my setups. And you know what the low uh, medium risk setup is like, we got the rejection and then we automatically switch to H4 or maybe one hour and then enter it at touching SNR levels. We either don't have breakouts or any retest. And then that's we, uh, what we call the medium risk. And we know what the uh, low risk setup is when we have everything in line. The rejection and breakout at the one time frame lower. So after that, the entry patterns like these pictures that I have seen you can see that, uh, you can see here, this is RBS. We know Bryce is we entering here, so entry will be below. It is like what is called the retest of the candle, retest of the candle. This is what we call pullback. You wait the price to enter below the RBS. The first touch, the second touch comes here, and then you see how price reject. For example, what I mean is, if you see a uh, level of resistance is broken, price comes the first time, so the second time it can come below that level and then reject it, uh, and reject this level and then buys. Same like this one. Second time, all right? So we don't have a body that is letting in uh, uh, the break below. So this means a kind of rejections. So breakout entry. This is breakout entry, okay? This is breakout entry, okay? Entry patterns a lot. We cannot count in a number, okay? But we have to have some entry patterns that we always use, okay? All right, so let me show you another examples here. This is uh, what is called 
the SNR blast train line confluence. Let me, yeah, this one. This is SNR, SNR blast train line confluence. This is SNR blast train line confluences. Uh, uh, first thing first, we know about making SNR. We have, we have rice forming and we, we, we mark this SNR level, we, we mark this SNR level, expect the price to come back and then in line this train line. So that is SNR blast train line. So uh, the, this is where we want to make our decisions. So SNR is number one, point one must be the SNR. We must always make the SNR and then point two must be the train line. This train line comes after the SNR and that is here is DL, okay? DL, decisional level will be this last one. So point one, point two, and this point three. Let me call touch one, touch two, touch three of the train line. This touch one, we don't care. The last one that is touching with the SNR, that will be very good. So there's another thing in here, we can have engulfed fail here, or we can have uh, true engulfing or perfect engulfing. We can inline it so that it can be SNR plus train line plus engulfing plus, plus uh, HSL, historical significant level. Like we have uh, more buyers and more sellers that price broken down here as HSL. HSL. When Bryce broke this HSL, comes back to the decisional level and then enter. This is one kind of entry. All right. Uh, let me show you another another example. This is what's HSL. What? HSL. What is that stuff for? Okay, that I, I have to explain HSL and ISL because it's like historical uh, level. Let me show you on the chart. For example, uh, when we go to H4, H4, there is breakout, right? Breakout, price breaks only two zones. Two zones. We have to understand two zones are always broken. So that those two zones, one zone is clean area. There are no more volume, okay? Are you getting? One zone uh, kind of. You mean one zone is a uh, quite. yeah. One zone is a clear area, and the other zone is full of orders. So when we have a clean area, we don't that level that was broken. There is no more interesting because we always have interest zones that are. Uh, having a more uh, historical data. That's HSL means historical significant levels. Levels where buyers and sellers have the same movement. It is like a zone where buyers and sellers have the same power. But where you see like ISL is a level that has no more power. For example, in this level, I will show you two breakouts. This breakout is, is HSL. All right, HSL. HSL. Why? Because buyers have the same bow with the sellers. But this level, this breakout, this one is ISL. ISL, okay? Why? Because these sellers and these buyers are not the same. Yeah, so it's like internal breakout and external breakout. Same like that. You got it. That's all. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's all. But you know, mentors have changed the terminology. That's what I mean. Mm, yeah. But if you lend them together, then you will not be confused. You will be convinced. Understand it? Is all yeah, yeah. the, the important. So if you understand the breakouts and pullback, then you know what the hint is. Hint of breakout is like internal and external breakout. Uh, but what they mean, the HSL and ISL, I think it's no clear for you. 
Right? So ISL. Yeah, very clear. Yeah, so when, when they mean the ISL, they mean. Uh, let me type it in words. Maybe that will be very good. ISL means intermediate uh, significant level. And then HSL means uh, history equal significant level level. I think in words that's all you want to understand. I think what are these then? So this one, uh, the ISL. ISL is always uh, the currency market. The currency price breakout. Okay, the currency uh, when we have like this. This was a level that was created before, but this is the currency breakout. You see, the currency breakout. So the other one. Uh, this breakout, the HSL, HSL, the HSL is uh, where most uh, Malaysian SNR are called a, a night, a night market, a night market. So the night market is like <laughs> <laughs> a night market is like where. And a crazy fighting happening, a huge fighting happening, like buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers, buyers and sellers were fighting. And then that high that was created historically is where Bryce broke that historical high. And then this is the ISL and that's the HSL. Does it make uh, sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now we just, we just break out of the um, HSL. Yeah, HSL, when you get the HSL, HSL points are where the decisions come always. The no, I'm, I'm saying right now the, the price, you see that H, H4 APEC level, it had a breakout. Do you mean here or where, please? The, 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 the top line, the top line. This one? Yeah, that, that one had a breakout, so we're bullish still. Yeah, there is a breakout, but Bryce is coming back. Bryce is well, that's coming a pull back. Isn't it? Why is coming back? There was a breakout here. This one, look, that breakout. It came below and then closed below. So we still have a momentum for bearish. Why? Because this level was uh, this candle H4. This H4 candle did not reject this one. Look, this one did not reject this level, okay? So it broke below. This candle closed bodily below this SNR. Are you getting it? Since we yeah, have yeah, the breakout yeah. here, there is another level here. So if Bryce pushes down, we wanted this candle to reject. And you can see that this last H4 candle also is rejecting this SNR as a level of resistance. So still, we can call go down and then come here so this snr that has liquidity here you see yeah so bryce can come and then buy again that's what i'm expecting since this is h4 level and we we still have a bullish storyline this h4 level can be rb road blocking are you understanding it now? Yeah. Also, there is another H4 level, but this one has a high probability for Bryce reversal. Always think about two things. One is for reversal, and the other one is for continuation. Are we continue or reversal? So this one cannot make exactly a strong reversal until Bryce did not reach here and break bodily below here. If Bryce come below here and then break it, if Bryce comes here 
and then break it by a body closure. All right, then we still want to retest it there and then come down and then move down. But if H4 candle touches here by a week, okay, then we will go up. Right, that makes sense. That's road blocking, okay? Since this road blocking, yeah. So I have a question. All right, who's who's that? Question? It's me. So can can you go to the charts on the date sixteen? Day sixteen. Yes, sixteen April. All right. All right for the day. I think that's 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 back. not not for no no not for it's this this week yeah we are 20 so okay 16 this one this one yes 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 okay for 16 come on it was tuesday Clearly, you can see on the text. Go back. Yes, Tuesday. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Okay, what do you want? Go, go back. You see when the break of structure happened after okay. rejected daily, reject daily. Uh -huh. Break of structure, the up move, the up move. Uh, at, I, at the I, top. I know the storyline confirmation, like a daily, yes. rejected daily. A uh, breakout of uh, the, the breakout first bull bear. confirmation. So, what is your question? Yes, the I, first want to understand. Bull bear. I know this one. Okay. My question is uh, I saw this guy, it took an entry on M5 time frame, and uh, he got entry on London session open. And immediately when he entered, the volume kicked in. How is that possible? You Gold mean, just melted, it, it, the, the momentum exploded. It was in the yeah, cell. Because, uh, cell buy. Was there a trend line or a lever or how he took was the cell? He buying or selling? No, the first cell. You mean the cell or here? The the the, the roadblock, the roadblock, the box, the, the thing box. box. Yeah, that you cell. mean this one? Then he knows that there is a level here. Okay. Yeah. There is a level. Okay. Here. So this level is H4 level. Since we have a, a, a daily uh, storyline and then we have a breakout, okay. there is a three things. So he was flowing one, uh, he was flowing this concept if he's Malaysian SNR trader. Uh, one is mm -hmm. for, one is for first he rejection, okay? Rejection that he found the daily, okay? And the other one is uh, break out that has happened it on H4 and the other one is retest so retest is where he was selling all right why rejection is here on a day and then price move it up breaking here and then price move it down why he did not enter here because there is no SNR level here, okay? So he was waiting for a retest, retest of this level. Retest of this level. And then when the retest happened, he was waiting for a value, which can either uh, be in a London session, and then he may go a uh, uh, lower time frame and finding engulfing and something like that or train line any of the confluence that he may want to use so in here in here i can show you if i use uh, london session or session timelines uh it was waiting for uh this a transition breakout or a transition reverse. So this is the box. If I remove the box, 
here is where he was selling if he's trend line trader or SNR trader. So you can see SNR, right? This is H for SNR, this one. So if I use trend line and make it from here till there, you can see that entry will be here for the five minutes. All right. Again, we have engulfing, engulfing before the kill zone. You could enter here for a sell. All right. And then a stop loss somewhere above this Asian session high target since this is a bullback this sell was a bullback you may have a uh, hedge for level go hedge for level is your target all right my screen become a full okay and then this hedge for level this gap And then if I go back, you can see where Bryce exactly hit. So, uh, Malaysian SNR has different ways you can trade. Even uh, lower time frames can give you a nice setup for the for the day. So you know, understand this was a retest, but the real movement is not here. Even this is still confirmation. This move is still confirmation. When Bryce comes back here, this is the real move, okay? That was bullbacks, but if you don't have enough knowledge, you cannot trade. So this was the real move that we wanted, okay? <coughs> here. This move was the real move. Okay, this was corrections and bad days. And you can see market was not real. But this was liquidity. This was liquidity, money. This was money. And the price goes up, comes back below the liquidity. So there is the real buy. I hope that makes sense. Did you understand? Did you get the point? Um, yeah, it's better now. Yeah, that's why he was. Can you can? Okay. Can you dive deep lines? Can you do more trend lines? Ah oh, man, I, I think it may be a lot. <laughs> Train lines are a lot, brother. If you don't have the types in your mind, then doing one by one will take a long time. So maybe another session. Okay. Yeah, so Gola, you got the point now. Yeah, yeah, I understand the, the weekly recap on uh, why we got a buy and a breakout. Um, so we were discussing earlier before everyone come about um, SOP. Yeah, the SOP, the SOP, uh, first thing first, SOP is like, uh, what kind of a trader so, is So we're doing the setup now. First, I'm, 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 I'm going to dive in, so you have to understand what I mean. What kind of trader is a Bola? Who, how, how do you trade mm -hmm. Bola? I like to trade in today, but because so, of work and everything, you know, I'm very busy. So yeah. I, I can only come on in New York. So I like to. Now, uh, I'm not talking about the seasonals. I'm, I'm talking about like what kind of trader are you? Are you a uh, like position trader, swing trader, whatever? No, I'm an into trader. I'm just uh, okay. like to uh, yeah, uh, like you basically into trade. Just for four hours and put all that daily uh, storyline for our breakout. Okay. One hour set up, maybe look for five minute entry. We have uh, for intraday, you, you say like you are intraday trader, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, your SOB starts from your, uh, from uh, the daily storyline. For example, high time frame is for the storyline. So which time frame do you always like to get your storyline? Because this point is about rejection. Daily. Daily. So daily. So that's your favorite one. 
All right. So which time frame is your confirmation? Uh, confirmation for entry? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 the entry, the storyline. What uh, confirmation for storyline would be a four hour breakout? Yeah, After so daily, we check daily. Yeah, SOB, let me type something because you will understand it from today on. All right. So, uh, I think, I think I will do some, some examples for about that one. Right, so these are the informations that I was okay writing down. Save and then I can clean the screen right now. Boom. So now uh, I want let me say, let me say something like this. Uh, for is MSNR uh, mechanism Mex mechanisms? This is like your SOB, okay? SOB, all right. This is like how you trade. You have to have some SOBs when you are trading. For first one. Uh, High time frames. I use high time frames uh, for storyline. Storyline. You you use the high time frame for storyline, right? Uh, big out. Yeah. Which which time frame you like the most? You like weekly, for example, weekly, and daily storyline. All right. That's your day. What you always look for it. Every time you woke up in the morning, check weekly, daily. That's your mechanism. Understand? You, che you mm -hmm. check weekly, you check daily. If there is no storyline, go and do your, uh, your own stocks. Okay. Number two. Number two. Uh, in number two, we want confirmations. Confirmations. Of STL, you know what the STL is, right? Storyline. Storyline. So confirmations of your uh, is like we can use multiple time frames, but I always like H4 and H1. I don't want 10 minute confirmation of the storylines. Okay, that will be very weak. Okay. What is the confirmation then? Confirmation is. Confirmation means breakout. Breakout. That can either be one time frame lower or two time frame lower breakout. So what is the next test will be for you? It will be setups. 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 Which setup do you like the most? Uh, we can use the three setups anyway low risk no, no, let us say high high risk medium risk and low risk setup setup which time frame uh yeah it's like always flowing the storyline anyway it always flows the story so it depends on what kind of confirmations do we have then the setup comes after the confirmation if we get uh, for all, uh, if we don't have, for example, if we don't have uh, confirmation, we have high risk setup. If we have one time frame uh, lower breakout, we have uh, lower risk setup. If we have two time frame or maybe two time frame uh, break uh, uh, confirmation like breakout, then that means medium risk setup. So it depends on the confirmation so this is call it confirmation it depends on confirmation of stl see uh, let me say confirmation of the storyline ctl and then when you have your ctl what's the next what is the fourth step that you want you want to have confluences 
This is for example, but you must pick out something, okay? Confluences. For example, one confluence I must give you. I must always look my setup. SNR first, plus TL, plus EG, plus QML, plus whatever. That's an example, all right? I'm not entering my, I'm not entering the market without confluences. Are you getting it? Yeah. So what is the last thing that you have to add? Entry. What? No, no. Entry. Not yet, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, okay? We still have to look for Kills liquidity us. tapes. Liquidity tapes. What's the liquidity tape? We, look for, we, we will look for MSU, MSU, type 1, or type 2, or TL, or trans, uh, uh, transferal, uh, transferal liquidity, or uh, IDM, inducement liquidity, for strengthening, okay? strengthening your setup all right so that's for other confluence so uh six entry for your entry for your entry which time frame i use m m5 sometimes and i use m1 all right so you know what what for my entry when all information is come together and then use uh, golden confirmation the most. I, this is my best entry. I always use a golden uh, confirmation. And you know about this one. So, okay, this is a risk management for the risk management. SL, SL 20 pips, 20 pips, and then TB, 100 pips, 100 pips. I hope you got it. So this yeah, is, yeah. this is, is scalping, okay? No, this is intraday, intraday, entry. Can I take picture and then send it to you so that yeah that would be good look this information every time you yeah this is all this is for example but you can change it for your own I think so this is all you need about learning Malaysian SNR when you learn and finish uh, Malaysian SNR you must have a mechanism way that you use every day. Try to repeat over and over again until your mind adapted it and then understand how things work. I hope you have the most information, storyline, confirmation, setups and confluences and so on. Yeah. So, yeah. Any other question? You know the confirmation, uh, confluence, yeah. is that the one, one hour you, would you say? Confluences or always one hour. set up time frame. Use the MTF. Okay. Confluence is yeah, always okay. the set up. For example, if daily storyline, which time frame is your set up? One hour. Confluence is there. And that's why I was teaching you the set up, uh, the MTF. Mm. Confluence is always the time frame of the set up. What about the liquidity taken for time frame that as well? Liquidity can be found on any time frame. So where your entry or setup is, must always have liquidity concept. Okay, brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. You're welcome. So hello. we'll see more examples tomorrow. Hello. Yeah, hello. I have another question. All right. Yes. Uh, is it possible if I, f I fail to find the storyline in daily 
and uh, weekly then i use maybe h4 like for example we had gold that was going up for a very long time we could not find other snr levels on daily or weekly to play out of for the previous weeks that we I think you mean like what if I don't have a storyline on daily on weekly can I still use the storyline of H4 that's your question right Yes that's my question Yeah yeah you can use because every time frame has its own storyline or understand it so Yeah I think yes you, I understand You came late because that's like MTF which we have discussed a couple of minutes ago Maybe uh, I think. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can see the screen. Okay. For a storyline, if you don't have monthly storyline, you can use weekly storyline. If you don't have weekly storyline, you can use daily storyline. If you don't have daily storyline, you can use H for the storyline. If you don't have H for the storyline, you can use one hour storyline. If you don't have one hour storyline, you can use 30 minute storyline. If you don't have 30 minutes, you can use 15 minute storyline. But you must know any tricks because each time frame has road blocking, setup time frame, and take profit time frame. If you know the MTF and how MTF works, then you can use any storyline on every time frame. Thank you so much. I, you answered me well there. Especially, I was finding my stop loss being hit because of those roadblocks. Yeah, understand storyline, then road blocking, then set up time frame, then take profit time frame. Stop loss, uh, the minimum stop loss of Malaysian SNR can be 20 pips. Okay, minimum, okay, okay. Minimum. For those who know everything, they can use. But remember, if you set up, it's not like... Uh, uh, in the day, use minimum of 30 minutes and enjoy the trade by taking 200 beeps and so on. Right, right. That, 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 that's great. Yeah, so guys, welcome. Any other question before I close? Oh, oh, okay. Another thing. Let's say I want to hold the trade and I don't want to exit out of the trade, right? Mm -hmm. Uh. What, what what should I do? What factors should I consider so that I should so that I won't exit the trade? But for I will hold, just for holding a trade using Malaysian as an art concept depends on three time frames on higher time frame must follow each other. They must follow. Like monthly is a bullish, weekly is a bullish, and daily is a bullish. Then you can hold that trade. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, and that's blast, good. blast the confluences and the confirmations of the storyline. The storyline confirmation must have one time frame lower breakout. Also, it okay. must be a low risky setup. It must have more confluences. Story, uh, SNR blast, TL blast, engulfing blast, one of the other entry models, decisional level QML. Yeah, when they when they have the confluences, we must also have liquidity concept. Uh, if it's miss or a sweep of liquidity, and then yeah, entry confirmed uh, uh, a good pro uh, 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 proper risk management. But if sometimes if sometimes you have a poor risk management, yeah, the price will hit your trades, and that will be very bad. Yeah. You also talked about uh, stop loss being 20 pips. Let's say the market has moved in my direction for 30 pips. Is it possible that I can move my SL to break even or I should just leave SL to B and remain 20 pips? Really, really for your uh, risk management or uh, management plan, it depends on you. But if the setup is for intraday, and you still see, uh, what about, let me say, uh, let me answer in a different way so that maybe you can understand it. What about if the setup is about H4 gap? 20 pips is enough. 
you cannot move this as well if you have 20 pips and your entry is at the right point it's good all right if it's a gap yeah. setup it's a continuation setup let me go h4 I'll look for a setup wait I want to show you recently price was not respecting a gap price of gold was pushing up pushing up it was a nice confluence but this is not a gap but I want to show you an example of gap here like, like this point there was SNR right here. This gap. Gap SNR. That was a continuation setup, for example. When you have this continuation setup, your stop loss for 20 pips, I think, is enough. Maybe gold hmm. is too high, I think. It's too high. 40 come come here yeah this candle you see this candle right yes this candle it's low it's low This candle slow is based for your stop loss. This candle. Sometimes candle can have a long week. Like this one. Not the, the first candle. The second candle that pushes the price up. So the target, you, you can see how price automatically reaches that, that target. But that's clearly very high if you have intraday you can use like 100 and 100 plus and so on but you can see this is uh, 200 300 plus so if you have 100 plus it will be somewhere like that 200 plus 100 plus 200 plus it's okay but i advise you for intraday uh 20 pips sl and 150 pips for intraday yeah for so there's no need for putting for placing an SL at entry once the price has gone maybe one hour in your direction. Then the price already live uh, at your entry. Then why are you entering when you miss the entry? We don't need to enter even a place in a trade. No. Okay, I don't know what you mean. I, I'm, 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 I'm talking about uh, placing the stop loss in the profits. You get what I'm saying? Like, like let's say you've entered you yes managing the stop loss you mean trailing the stop loss yes trailing the stop loss and then when price moves like 100 or maybe 50 bips you can trail it so that you can protect okay. the risk you can protect your positions in order not to risk too much that's okay everyone does that for uh, security okay. your initial capital that's that's for a good option to to protect risk. Uh, Phil is also asking is um, how do you know if price go past a certain level that the price will turn? Say if you are in profit and they created a level, like a, if say you're buying and they created a, a level like a gap level or a, a VPEC, a classic level, like if price uh, come back for retracement or reverse, so it's, it's more about reading the candlestick um, pattern, it, you know what I mean? Oh, he's, he's talking about the candlestick and not to me. Yeah, like if, 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 if he's in profit now and price sometimes have retracement, how does he know that it's going to continue down or it's just a retracement to come back up? Because obviously, like, I think he's trying to see what level can he put it under to, so that if price go past that level, that means the uh, trend is changing in that time frame. All right, so that he wants to understand that, the storyline. Right? Uh, I, I got you now because he's 
ask him for how can I know if Bryce is coming back to my injury or yeah. if it is continue and not coming back to my injury, how can I really determine or understand it? So it depends, you have to understand how the storyline begins, all right, and how the storyline ends. If you know how the storyline begins and how it ends, it's very good. You will know that price will continue or will refer back to your entry. The other thing you have to understand is what is called road blocking. If you have uh, a, a hedge for a storyline, you must know which time frame I can control my storyline. If you have daily storyline, you must also know which time frame can I control my storyline. On the other uh, uh, aspect of uh, uh, confirmation, most of the candle anatomy, we use two things to confirm whether there is continuation or reversal. One is for the breakout. If there is a candle, uh, candle uh, body closure above SNR or below SNR, there is a breakout that means there is still continuation if there is a candle touch with a week on snr level that is a rejection that may cause a reversal so there is another thing which is called the next candle confirmation if you get a price that is touched snr level with a week you wait the next candle to make sure if there is still continuation or if there is a reversal. For example, there is SNR right here. SNR right here. Bryce rejected this candle, right? So how can I know if all right, how can I know if Bryce continues or reverses? It's very simple. The next candle will tell you. So this candle touched the SNR with a wick, not body. So how can I know that this cell will continue to the down or reverse? The next candle, the next candle confirmation is that the candle that is next to the rejected candle. This is a rejected candle. So we wait the close of the next candle. This is the next candle. It closes and then move it, push it up and then comes back. In here, there's a level of H4. When price was pushing up and coming back, that was your entry. If we go the controlling time frame, there is a candle you, you guys see. So we can still have entry on this level. Level. Because we have left shoulder QM setup. If you can see here. Bryce broke that QM and then came back. Yeah. And then that was our entry. Understand? So we do not enter the, uh, the rejection candle. We enter the next candle confirmation of H4. All right, the next candle, that's the inch. So the next candle confirms we will continue. All right. So if you don't know the next candle. Okay. Yeah, if you don't know the next candle confirmation, then you will scare off coming the price back to your, uh, uh, to your uh, rejected area or maybe your entry levels. That's why. So. Uh, I think you got the uh, answer. If I am not so in so in other words, we are saying in the event that we were selling, and we have reached an H four SNR roadblock, that one which wanted to create a buy, we only exit the trade in the event that H four has created a a storyline that is bullish, right? You must have target levels, brother exit points you when you are when you are planning to enter what are you going uh what are you doing you are doing like you are using an uh, entry strategy when you get your yeah. entry strategy you must also have exit strategy okay exit. it does not mean yes. like when bryce rejected the bullish then i exit that's it's not like that even you can take your no, profit before I'll... the price rejects a level. For example, I buy okay. here. I buy here and then I exit this level. I am not waiting if price rejects this or not. That's a bad idea. When price reaches this no, level, I, was saying I am out. Might... I don't care if price breaks or if price rejects. Okay. I was saying maybe I would exit if uh, it creates a rejection then 
a storyline and a breakout in H1. That's indicating that, that the that's, yeah. that's about the storyline end. That's about the storyline yeah. end. But do not really mix mm. it in your exit point plus the storyline end. They must be different. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If the storyline begins from here, you don't know whether the this, the price will reject this level or continue. Okay, noted. So you must have a fixed point of exiting this, this trade you have taken. Uh, do not really uh, 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 think about the storyline rejection or continuation. I hope you got a point now. Yeah, I, I get the point. And you, you say do you find the trend line confluence in the same time frame with setup, right? Yeah, yeah. That's very good. Okay. Okay, not yet. Thank you. I uh, thank you guys. I think we took a long time today and more and more information was explored. Yeah, next time will be maybe tonight and we will have yeah more information just like this. Yeah, so I wish you the best and have a good day. Uh, thank you. I'll see you later.